welcome to the engineer's workshop. So we got a special day today. We are going to be moving the Skinner steam engine. Uh, if you go back to my oldest videos, you might recall that I have a Skinner stationary steam engine that used to drive a dynamo. And this was delivered, it's over a year ago, um, for the sake of you know, how we, uh, the facilities we had to unload it, we uh, offloaded it a quarter mile away at uh, Mike Beck's uh, sawmill, and it's been sitting under a tarp ever since. Well, we've got a nice weekend, no rain in sight. We're gonna uh, fire up his big forklift, which is like a 20,000 pound uh, heister, and we're gonna put the Skinner engine on this. It's an industrial cart he has about, I don't know, six by 12 or, or eight by 12 feet with solid wheels, and I'm gonna, move that the eighth of a mile uh, over <laughs> a two-lane uh, rural road onto the property and I got to get these big doors open so that I can bring it into the building here and then I can start offloading it reconditioning parts we're also going to run it on compressed air I'm trying to get that Quincy compressor up and running but uh, let's get the camera swivel around see if we can get these doors open get it uh, at least all the way in the building and then uh, worry about its final resting place a little bit later. Now here's that little uh, cart so that's about six or seven feet by 12 feet and I got to get it shackled up to the tractor.
I'm going to start heading over. I'll know in about a minute if I have any issues. Keep it nice and slow. Well, I actually sold all this steel. Huh? I, I sold all this steel. Oh, you did? Yep. Well, I'm glad this is finally moved over to the shop building. Um, Got to keep it on the industrial cart here for the foreseeable future. There's enough room to get around it and work. Um, let me just give you a couple of quick highlights on uh, some features on this, but later on I'm going to do a video just to does a walk around and talks about the features of the Skinner engine. But let me uh, let me show you a couple of neat things. These are cast iron covers for the uh, crank area, and these were nickel plated. Now this, I want you to look at this. This is the uh, oil part of the oiling system. This had a self oiling mechanism, and from what I can tell, based on the way these things clean up. These aren't just nickel plated. I think these, uh, this, this oiling arm is solid nickel because nothing is peeling. And this is all just grime. So, I mean, it, it comes off. So you lift this up to basically shut off the oil flow and you put it back down and then each uh, each oil feed area is individually adjustable to feed uh, the outer ones are have channels that go back to the main bearings the inner ones go in and feed the cross slide and then the one on the end feeds the eccentric but uh, I'm gonna have a ball cleaning all this up and making this thing shine it's gonna just have so much nickel and chrome look to it uh, can't wait. More in a separate video. Mm -hmm. 